structures. Let us try to understand structures through this example. A boy named Anil was sitting in his room studying structures. He got angry and decided not to study. He then thinks about doing some shopping online so he surfs the internet. While surfing, he comes across an e-store and then decides to shop from it. He went through different items available, namely camera, clothes, laptops, mobile phones, and decides to purchase them and finally made the total payment. Then a friend of Anil, Raj, came to visit him. Raj asked Anil how his day went. Anil told him about his experience with structures and how he got irritated with them and then about the online shopping. Raj then told him that this online shopping can be explained as a part of structures. Anil asked him to explain everything in detail. Raj replied by saying that if we take the case of online shopping, then we can consider this e-store as a structure where the various categories like cameras, clothes, laptop, mobile phones can be considered as the various data type members and the make payment option can be considered as its function. Anil then requested Raj to explain how structures are declared. Raj replied by giving an example of structure in which we consider a case of book and the various part of the book like name, author, pages etc. will be explained as according to the structure. The declaration starts with the keyword struct followed by the structure name. Then inside the structure comes the data type members which are the character type name and author, the integer type pages. Also there are the functions that is the void read function that you want to have in the structure and then the structure ends. And finally the object of the structure is created. This can be done in two ways. In the first way, we declare the object just when the structure ends. In the second way, we declare the object after the structure has ended. This was about the basics of structure.